the Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to the dehydrating shed on this chilly night. Tonight, I'm going to start dehydrating some Cushaw squash. I was going to make pie filling with it, and well, I've decided I'm going to wait till I cook my other two so I can make a really big batch of it. So what I'm going to do, even though it's pureed, you can still dehydrate it. You just need to have the liners, the solid liners. Now what I'm going to do is get the camera down. Now, I will tell you, it's going to take a little longer for it to dehydrate but it will dehydrate but you've got to have these solid liners for it to work or you're going to be in trouble because it's going to fall on through and you're going to need something to kind of spread it out If you wanted to, you could go on and season it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it plain. These are also well known as fruit roll up trays. There we go. You want to make sure you spread it out real good. And it has plenty of room on the trays. Okay, that's tray one. And we will go to tray two. Now these are tray liners as well. They just have nice, let me hold them up. You can see it has the ridges. No, these are not bugs or anything. Little pieces of scorched cushaw. Apparently, I guess I got too close to the sides when I was taking it out. And little pieces fell in here and there. The cushaw, the pureed cushaw is not scorched. It was just what was on the side of the roaster was as it uh, cooked down. If there's lumps in it, that's fine because I'm going to be powdering this up in the blender. So it's not going to hurt a single thing. Since this is good and juicy, it's going to take a while for it to dehydrate. You're just going to have to be patient. All right, I will bring you back when I get all the trays filled. I don't think I'm going to get to use all the puree, but I'll keep do using it until it does get uh, all used up. I'll bring you back here in a little bit. 
Well, I looked up and was able to scrape my bowl and fill up all the five trays that I, five tray liners that I have. I'm going to cut the dehydrator on. Now, it's going to take a good while for these to, to dehydrate. But this is nothing more than pure, pureed, uh, cooked Kushaw squash. So when this is finally dry, we'll have a whole lot of powder, hopefully. And like I said, you could season it if you want to. I want to leave it plain, and that way I can add it to many things like instant oatmeal mixes and so on. All right, I will bring you back as soon as it's dry, and I'll let you know how long it takes for it to dry. See you back here soon, hopefully. Okay, welcome back to the dehydrating shed. The pureed Kushaw has finally dried. It took about a good 20 hours for it to finally dry. And I am definitely shocked at how much it shrank down. It has shrank down to almost not much of nothing. But this is going to be extremely condensed and it should be very flavorful. Now I have my poor little mixer here, and this is hard as a rock, kind of reminds me of old fashioned peanut brittle. And we're just going to powder it up. It smells wonderful. And I'm really impressed with the silicone mats. It did not stick to it. It came right off. Now that one plastic mat that either came with these dehydrators or I think it came with another dehydrator. Let me tell you, that stuff is stuck on there. And we'll have fun getting it off. And I have it in my blender. I'm only going to put y'all... I know what I'm going to do. Can I do it? Nope. I Do I have that option? Nope. I'm, I'm only going to put you through this one time. it's all powdered up yep now there's a few not great big pieces but I'm leaving them alone it don't have to be perfectly powdered now this will be perfect to add to like oatmeal dehydrated rice or instant rice but that is almost one tray worth. And that was a lot of Kushaw that that I put in here. I, I'm going to go and powder, finish powdering it up because I'm not going to make y'all listen to that again. And I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done. Before I powder anymore, this, and you saw, you saw in my video how much I filled these learners up. That's what it dehydrated down to. You see how thin that is? All right, I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Okay, I am finally done. Ooh, it's getting cold out here. Five fully, fully packed trays. And I ended up with three quarters of a pint of Kushaw squash powder. Let's make sure, take your Sharpie marker. This is 11.21. Not for much longer, but it's 11.21. Right, Kushaw powder, 11.21. And there we go. This is highly, highly concentrated. Uh-oh. 
Okay, I didn't even realize I had soot from the propane cooker on my face, so I got most of that off. No, it wasn't a bruise or anything. It was soot. Uh, because it's cold, and I must have touched something that had soot on it. Um, this is Kusho, Kusho powder, but November 21st is when I made it. Three quarters of a pint, but this is going to go a long way because you're not going to need a lot of it. And no, it's not seasoned. It's just pure Kushaw. Pureed Kushaw. I hope this encourages you to also make your own different powders. I'm trying to get that off me. Uh, simple, easy, as long as you have the special inserts for your trays to hold uh, the, the puree in. Now, I will say the silicone mats worked wonderfully, and it was so much easy to get the dehydrated cushion off of it. That plastic tray, that was a labor, let me tell you. It was a fight, but I won it and finally got it all off that tray. I will definitely be using the silicone mats from now on when I'm doing puree dehydrating. Hope this encourages you to also do it as well. You can use you can uh, use pureed pumpkin, pureed sweet potatoes. Uh, now, just remember, I cooked it down where the water was incorporated and everything, and cooked it down for a while. So, therefore, it's not watered down. It's just all the nutrients are in the water as well. Or as you want to call it, you might want to call it Kushaw uh, Broth. But simple, easy. This can be added to oatmeal, instant rice, uh, smoothies. You can keep listing all the different wonderful uh, virtues this can be used for. And I hope this encourages you also to do it as well. Uh, little dogs, I tell you. Neighbor dogs. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Everyone stay safe and sound out there. <sighs> Keep on prepping, stocking back as much as you can, and as many different things as possible. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone take care, and may you each be blessed. Good night.